Ooh. Ooh. So hello everyone. My name is Nadition. Welcome to Slime Rancher VR. <laughs> Come here. Oh. Guess he's a bit too big. Or I'm just full. <laughs> now, um, it is worth noting this is not the full game. They don't they haven't made the full game in VR. This is just some kind of I guess you call it a playground. Ooh. So this is just a playground as far as I can tell. I haven't played around with it much yet. Aw. All my stuff disappears. Which is a bit unfortunate because... I don't know. I think the game would w work really well in VR. <laughs> I have played the original game and I think I... I don't have too many hours in it. But I have played quite a bit of it to understand the basics. Probably the most fun I've ever had in a farming game. Next to Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is amazing, but I don't have the patience to play it, unfortunately. Man, this is so awesome. Look how cute this thing is. Look how cute it is. Uh, it's so cute. It just booped me. Hold on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I forget. Do they actually eat the chicks? Oh, man. See, this just makes me wish the development team behind Slime Ranchers actually took the base game and made it compatible with VR. Like the entire thing, the whole, you know, selling, breeding. Because right now, this is just like a demo, I guess, where you just kind of play around. Can't really do anything, unfortunately. Which makes me fairly sad, to be honest. Hold on. Actually, let's test this. Can I suck up water? Alright, it looks like I can, but it doesn't fully. It doesn't store it anywhere. Now, this is not going to be one of those episodes in VR where I, you know, actually accomplish anything because again can't really do that here this is just sort of a tech demo where you don't really do anything this is the kind of game that you show to someone who has never experienced VR before you just kind of show them this and they go ooh ah but since there's nothing to do you can't even sell these floors you can just kind of combine it with pe with slimes and transform them but once you leave the area and come back everything is reset so even the pens here are useless. They don't really matter. Farms don't matter. Um, I'm not sure why they decided to do this, if I'm being completely honest. It's a it's a neat idea, you know? Slime wrenches in VR? It's amazing. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would love that. But um, just doing a hangout, like a playground like this, I don't really see the point. Because then you're just going to make people angry, I think that you have clearly all the mechanics working, like it works, I can combine slimes, I can put them in hens, I can breed them, I can feed them, the, my little weapon works, but then they're not really willing to do anything with it. So it's just a tech demo at, at best. Which makes me very sad. I'm sorry if you came here to see like some actual gameplay quote unquote, but you'll be sad knowing there really isn't any. So this is going to be, like I said, a bit of a different episode. Um, since there's nothing really to do, and there's nothing really to show. You, you have all the slimes that you have in the real, regular game. And I can't die, so I can do whatever I want. Um, I can explore, but the maps aren't too big. Like this area, but this is it. This is the size of this map. Um, yeah, I gotta say... When I, I first saw news on a website saying Slime Ranches was going to get VR support, and I was... I was so ecstatic. Ecstatic? E ecstatic? I'm not sure how to say it. I was so happy. I was excited. I was like, man, Slime Rancher, it's a relaxing game. I've, I've played quite a lot of it. I've seen a lot of gameplay. It's really fun. I can't wait to see it in VR. And it finally released, and this is it. Um, you don't actually sell any... You don't sell anything. You don't move up in the story. And this is just a playground where you essentially just mess around. This is just a walking simulator at this point with no story, no nothing, no real gameplay. Which makes me really... which really confuses me to be honest. They went through all this trouble to recreate everything in VR and it works perfectly. It works. Everything works. Look at this. All the mechanics are clearly here. Everything you need. All the different kinds of slimes are here th spread throughout all three environments. Um, and I get, you know, VR development is difficult, but it has been getting a lot easier with Unity and 
Unreal Engine. But this kind of just feels like a tease at this point. When you recreate the entire game and all its mechanics, but then kind of forget everything else. And you just make a playground like this where you can hang out with the slimes. You can just kind of, you know, explore, hang out. But that's it. There's nothing else I can do. Every time I leave the area, progress is reset. So nothing is permanent. You know, farms are here. All the slimes are here. They work exactly like they did. It seems like a lot of effort went into this, you know? Which makes it really saddening to see that this is all they did with it. It feels rushed, or it feels like they didn't have any faith in VR. Or are just so inexperienced that they thought that all VR is, is tech demos. Which, as we know, it's not true. I mean, Bethesda made the entirety of Skyrim work in VR. And here we have Slime Ranchers, where we basically just get a god mode playground. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Sorry this is such a like, negative episode, I guess I would say, of me playing a VR game for once, but I think this is the first time not the first time, but one of the few times where I was really excited for like a VR pour or like just a VR game in general and was so massively let down. Now I understand this is a free DLC, but they could easily do what Bethesda did and take Slime Rancher, give it a VR port, and then sell it separately. Just sell Slime Rancher and Slime Rancher VR, same price, same mechanics, just one is in VR and one isn't, just like what they did with the Skyrim. And I'm pretty sure people would buy it. People would buy the hell out of it. Now, buying something twice isn't something that's ever stopped me before. I mean, hell, I own basically every version of Skyrim there is. Both the original Enhanced and VR Edition. So, I don't know. Not quite sure what the developers were thinking in doing this. Because at this point, it kind of just seems like they should have done either just released a full-fledged VR Slime Rancher or just not done anything at all because doing something like this where you just kind of just give an in-between it's not the full Slime Rancher VR but it is Slime Rancher in VR I don't know what the point is to be honest this is something you show to someone who's never played VR before they'll be amazed for 20 seconds and then they won't be and then you never touch this again and you'll just continue playing the game like normal in desktop mode I honestly, I don't understand it, to be honest. I, I really don't. I don't get the point of this. You have three environments here, which is not really that much, all things considered. And I get there's some issues with VR, one of them being performance. You know, you want the game to run smoothly. So that's why these areas are fairly small. But I don't think people would have had too much of a problem with that if you made Slime Rancher VR. And you have all the same mechanics, you can still sell stuff, you can still explore. But limit the exploration, but you know, make make it into smaller areas like this, and you just teleport between zones, kinda. Like instead of a fence over there, you see, you just see like a line, like a loading line. Once you step over the line, it says, "Okay, loading next area," and then you're in a new area, and you can explore that area, and so on and so forth. Like the entire game recreated, but this time with like loading borders along the way, so that you don't screw the VR too hard. <laughs> I don't know, there's a bunch of things I could have done, but instead we get this playground and not a fan. <laughs> not a fan. There's this little basketball mini game. This is really the only thing you can do in this playground. So now I have a little countdown. And then there's also the home area, which is kind of there for decoration, it doesn't do anything. Um, I'm not sure if they are pl planning on actually developing a full-fledged Slime Rancher VR. I hope they are, and I hope this is just like a like a demo. I really hope this is just a demo to kind of get people excited to to show them what they're capable of, and to show them, hey, look, this is what Slime Ranch and VR will be once we're done. But as it is now, I can't say I'm happy. <laughs> if this is what all they're gonna do with it, which is weird, because they even have like. The mechanic here of being able to suck up the water like in the main game so clearly either they worked on this and for no reason because it doesn't do anything you can't upgrade this gun so you can't actually use the water yet it's still here the mechanic 
So either they kind of just forgot about it, and they, like, they just developed it and then kind of stopped, or they just directly ported it from the main game into this VR DLC, I guess, and then didn't do anything with it. So if they were able just to port it, why not just make port the entire game, you know? Why make this playground? They obviously put some effort into the environments, because, you know, a lot of these are their own little areas here for VR. This is clearly all made here by hand. So I don't really understand the mindset developers were coming at when they decided we're going to give them Slime Rancher VR, but we're not really going to give them Slime Rancher VR. Not sure what they did with the controls. I don't know who decided that pressing the trigger and then pointing where you want to go is the best. Yeah, that's literally what I'm doing. I have to hold the trigger and point to where I want to walk. I'm using an Oculus, so I have joysticks, and watch this. They don't they do not do anything. They do absolutely nothing. In fact, I have to click in the joystick to turn while holding an erection on the joystick, which is the weirdest walking scheme I've ever seen. This game, I don't even think it supports teleportation. Like, this is reset play space. So, there's that. Oh. Not sure what this is all about. Oh, so okay, so this is like... Yeah, this is weird. Who thought of this? Yeah, so they clearly like put some work into this, but... I don't know. This really is just something you show to your friends and then never do again. Because what I've shown you, the three areas... And the home area, this is it. This is the entire game. Nothing more you can do. You can't sell plorts. You can't actually set up farms because every time you move areas, it resets. The controlling scheme is really weird. For some reason, they didn't need. They didn't use the joysticks, or there's. For some reason, they didn't use the joysticks because I think this was clearly just done for the vibe, which is totally fine. But they could have just done what every other game does, like just use the circle pad for movement. This is what the majority of games do for Vive and Locomotion. So I'm not sure why this exists. I'm really not. I mean, it's cute. It's adorable, you know? I love seeing the slimes here in VR. It's amazing. They behave exactly like they do in the game, you know? They boop me when I get close. They even stack on towers. I've seen that before. Um, they still go after food. They still drop food near trees. They still combine. Still, they still drop palorts. So, oh, there you go. He just transformed. I didn't have to do it for him. I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do with this. It's amazing, but disappointing. Because it, it's really sad knowing that this is what they did with VR implementation. They just gave you a playground instead of bothering to make the entire game playable in VR. Which is really disheartening, because we need we need some better games in, uh, in VR. There's some good games, but... You know, the majority of VR games nowadays are largely indie-based. We haven't seen any larger companies try to take a crack at VR besides Bethesda. And, you know, the developers behind Serious Sam, I'd say. And you have some good ones, like Beat Saber is absolutely fantastic. And they're a fairly small studio. And then you see something like this by the makers of Slime Rancher, which, again... They're also a smaller studio, but then this is all they do with it. And a lot of this is just ported over from the main game. The, sl the slimes are basically one-to-one. -one. I'm not surprised if they just didn't drag them over to the VR folder and call that a day. Gun behaves exactly the same. It's clearly... it's probably been remodeled, I can't quite tell. They've made it behave differently, you can only have four slots. No wait, that was in the main game too, never mind, yeah. So... I guess this is new. Control scheme is weird. So I I hope this is just like a tech demo. Like they just want to show us what they're capable of, and this is like to hype up the actual release of the main game being in VR. Even if it's separate, even if it's a separate game on Steam, people would buy it. I guarantee you. And we re could really need use the games because you know the more games developers make for VR that are good more people might actually want to buy a VR headset. Currently, we're stuck in what I would call the cycle of suck. 
or game hardware hell, if you want to call it. Currently, not too many people are buying VR headsets. Why aren't they buying VR headsets? Well, there's not too many games that you need a VR headset for. Now, besides like Beat Saber, what other reason is there to buy a VR headset? There's not too many. Now, there's a lot of great games that work in VR. You know, there's some companies that have taken the time to take their game and port it to VR. Shout out to the guys behind Payday and Bethesda and the guys who made all the Serious Sam games and the Talos Principle. <laughs> like, there's quite a few good VR games that have been ported. Then there's also quite a few original games that are really good. Budget cuts, really good. Beat Saber, amazing. There's so much that can be done with VR, but it seems like companies are afraid to do it. So we don't have any good, really good big AAA games, which is why people are not buying headsets. And why aren't companies making a lot of games for VR? Not a lot of people have VR headsets. So we're stuck. And someone has to break the cycle. This is not the first time we've seen something like this. Now, there's two solutions. Two very good solutions to solving our issue. Solution number one would be everyone buy a VR headset, increase the market share on VR headsets, and companies will start taking notice and they will start making an effort to make good games for VR. Solution two, companies need to make good VR games even if they're not sure if it's going to sell well. Because then, once they do that, more people will be interested, more people will be VR, and slowly that the game that they released that didn't make a good impact will slowly build up a following because they'll be the first company in AAA history that made a good VR game. And people take notice and they start buying headsets just for your game. But realistically, I don't really think companies are going to take risk. I really don't. So we're heavily relying on a lot of smaller developers, a lot of indie games, a lot of indie studios. Which I appreciate. It's it's a good it's a good way for smaller studios to shine, you know? Give them the spotlight because comp big companies let's just let's just say it, what we're all thinking. Big companies are chicken shits. <laughs> I mean companies, they have a lot of money. Even if they develop a full game on triple A game in VR and it's sold really badly. It wouldn't be a huge loss to the company because they're making such a ridiculous amount of money that it wasn't really the end of the world. You know, they'll recover. They will definitely recover. We've seen it before. No one is willing to take risks nowadays, it looks like. You know, VR is a new technology, but and companies are not comfortable with it. So they're just not gonna, they're just not going to bother. They're just going to sit there and go, no, we're just going to continue doing what we've always been doing and hope for the best. They always talk about innovation and advancements and, oh, the technology is so great and we've done this and this with this new technology. And then you see something like VR come out. It's really great new technology. And they decide, no, we're not going to do anything with it. We're just going to sit here, pretend it doesn't exist. And make the 16th Call of Duty game and Assassin's Creed 42. Now Sony's been doing a great job. They've made quite a few exclusive PSVR titles. And I get it, exclusivity sucks. But it, without them, those games wouldn't exist because they're pr funded by Sony. They literally said, hey, we'll give you fucking $50,000 and you go make a VR game for us. And the companies go, all right, well, you give, you've given us $50,000. So even if no one buys your game, we still made a decent amount of money, you know? Because development didn't cost anything. We didn't do it. You took care of development costs. So any profit is a profit. So that's why I like Sony. It's like a great job, Sony. You know, you're actually you're trying to get VR up there. And they've even released an article saying that it's disappointing how other companies aren't stepping up their game. You now they were hoping that if they release good exclusives, that people would get competitive. They were hoping that if they can, if they did that people would notice and they would go oh wow look at Sony they're making good VR games but right now they're owning the market so we should step up and do the same no we're gonna compete with Sony we're gonna be like no you're not gonna be doing this alone we're gonna we're gonna get in your way we're gonna also make good VR games and then we'll see who's better ha take that Sony but companies aren't doing that Oculus is trying to do that and there is some good games like Echo um, and that's it. 
So, overall, I don't know. This is really disheartening to see. I don't mind a VR playground, I really don't. And it is free, so I have really no right to complain. But this seems a bit half-assed. Because even for a playground demo, this is not good. You just see me running around the same area five times in a loop. Because this is all you can do. You can play the basketball hoop game in this area. You can put one someone in the, on a display case in the swamp. And here you don't do anything. You just kind of look at everything. And you can farm the slimes like you can in a real game. But you have no reason to. Because plorts, you can't sell them. You can't make money. You can just kind of hang out with them. And then get tired of them. Pretty quickly. Because you can't do anything with them. I don't even think they can turn into evil... Uh, evil slimes so there's no danger I don't think I can die I've dropped on from great heights you can't really die either there's there's just nothing to do this is not the type of VR game that you come back to this is not the type of VR game that you're gonna have more than 20 minutes of playtime in so which really makes me wonder why did they make this even if this was a test like stretch their legs, see what if they're ready to do VR development. It shouldn't have been released in this way. I think they should have just left that in the back burner somewhere and, uh, you know, continue working on it, see what they can come up with until they have something worth showing to the public. Even if it's free, I don't think this is... This is not something you even want to show your friends. If it is one of those games you just show to your friends. Because while it's cute and all, um, Beat Saber is better in every way, shape, and form. If you want to get someone into VR, you show them Beat Saber. You 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 put on Beat Saber, play one of the maps, you have them do it, they're gonna have a ton of fun, and they're gonna be like, wow, this is amazing, graphics are insane, music is awesome, the gameplay is fun, and I should get a VR headset. But then you give them this, and they're like, wow, this is cute, and this looks amazing, but it's boring. You can't do anything, this is not a game. This is just a playground with nothing in it. This just makes you angry. Just You look at it and go, Man, I wish I had a real Slime Rancher VR. Not this. So, okay. Sorry guys, you had to hear me rant for like probably 20 minutes, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated. <laughs> I was so excited for Slime Rancher VR, and this is what I get. I was so excited to make like a Let's Play series. I was gonna totally just play this and make maybe a little mini-series out of it on my channel. And then I see it's just a playground. It's... I don't know. So I guess this is the video I'm making now. A video where I tell everyone how disappointing this is. Hope you guys enjoyed me for renting for 20 minutes. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time, alright?